Today on Fixing the Money Thing, healthcare is the biggest financial issue facing our nation. We'll talk about it. Today on Fixing the Money Thing. With most families burdened in unsustainable levels of personal debt, most Americans believe there is no way to have financial freedom. However, author, pastor, and financial expert Gary Cassie believes most families can be completely out of debt in less than seven years. You must get out of debt. You've got to make right choices with your money right now. Gary and his wife Drenda are now on a crusade to share this information that changed their life so that you can not just survive, but prosper in today's economy. Your life can be totally transformed by an idea in the marketplace. This is Gary Cassie, Fixing the Money Thing. Welcome to another edition of Fixing Your Money Thing. We're Gary and Drinda Cassie talking about your favorite topic, money. And today we're talking about does God still heal? Now what does healing have to do with well, our money? Well, only to the tune of $1.1 trillion worth of lost revenue because of sickness, downtime, off time because of sickness. 50% of the American population is on prescription drugs. Money and disease, I mean, it goes together. Trust yes. me, there's a big, big issue there. Yes, well, the Word of God says, Beloved, I wish above all things you prosper yes. and be in health. Amen. And to me, the two areas, money and health, those are the two That's most right. important things next to your relationship with God as your soul prospers. And so yes, we're trying yes. to help folks prosper in their soul so that yes, it affects amen. their health amen. and it affects their money, right? Amen. And that's what today's teaching is doing. We're talking about healing because we want to make sure that people understand that Jesus paid the legal price for your healing, how to apply it to your life, how to avoid having a financial disaster because of chronic disease. So we're going to step into some teaching we've done here on that topic, uh, talking about you and the covenant of healing today on Fixing the Money Thing. And now from Faith Life Church, Gary Cassie. I want to tell you a story today that I, I hope helps you because you can learn from my experience and not do this yourself. When I was a young believer, and everyone has to grow in these things, that's why young believers, you need church. You need to stay around people that are godly. You need to stay in church. You need to be feeding on the word. Uh, because you're young. You, you don't know everything Satan's going to throw at you. You need, to, you need to be around people that are mature. When I was young in the Lord, I was a carnal Christian, meaning that I enjoyed the things of the world. At the same time, I, I had Sunday church as an event on my calendar instead of in my heart. I wasn't totally committed and sold out to the kingdom. My life wasn't about the kingdom. My life was about what I did, and I wanted God to bless what I did, and I enjoyed the benefits of God. I went to church on Sunday, but I was not about his kingdom. I was about my kingdom. Do you understand what I'm saying? There's a lot of believers like that. And so God started dealing with me about some of these issues in my life. He said, look, you can't do that. You know, Now, he does it out of love. God never condemns, but he will convict. Listen, son, you, you need to understand, you know, he's pointing things out. But, you know, I thought, so what? I, I, I have time. I'm going to heaven. I mean, surely this isn't bad for me. Everyone's doing this. I mean, it's just common. And so I'm just thinking it's no big deal. Well, today you know it's a big deal, don't you? Because you have an enemy and he wants to devour you. He can't devour you until he roars and you respond and you jump into his territory, his jurisdiction, or he tempts you outside of the protection of the covenant into his territory. He's got to get you in his jurisdiction to devour you. I didn't know that. I didn't know much about spiritual warfare. And so God kept dealing with me and dealing with me, and I felt his presence dealing with me, and I just paid no attention to it until the day I woke up paralyzed. Did God do that? No, he did not do that. But because I stepped into Satan's legality, jurisdiction, by not heeding the voice of the Lord. See, the Bible says in the Lord's Prayer, lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Well, if you pay no attention to God, who's left? <laughs> I mean, you're on your own, man. And so the enemy 
had attacked my body. I was paralyzed. My arms were numb, legs numb, face numb, tongue numb, heart palpitations, a blanket, a heavy weight of, of just yuck. I was, I was desperate. You know, we sing that song today, I'm desperate for you. Listen, I'm convinced most people don't know what that means. I'm convinced they don't know what that means. I was desperate. I woke up, Drenda, we, we prayed, and God said these words to me, shut the door. He says, son, I've been telling you, shut the door. Basically saying, shut off the legality of the kingdom of darkness to infiltrate your life. Shut the door. I've been telling you, shut the door. So I, I repented from that. I, you know, you start repenting of a lot of things when you think you're dying. Now, this is not a laughing matter. This is a, I'm, not, I'm not making fun of you laughing. I'm, I would laugh, I'm laughing now, too, because I'm such an idiot. But, <laughs> but the, the, devil, the devil feeds off ignorance. And uh, so we have to be aware of this. And so I repented and, you know, went to the doctors. They couldn't find anything wrong with me. You know, they had different things they tried to label. One guy said I, I, was, I had beginning stages of diabetes, and the other doctor in the room said, you know, this would be an interesting test case. We can watch how this disease progresses in his life. Another doctor said he, it's a mental problem, and uh, they prescribed four medications, and they said there's no cure for it. Told my wife he'll probably be on medication the rest of his life. Another doctor said, well, you got to treat this nutritionally because your, your, your hormones are all over the place, and so you can't eat this, 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 and this. You can eat this, you know. And it was hell on earth. Three little babies. I couldn't work. I was afraid to drive, afraid to leave my house. When you're in commission sales, it doesn't work too well. <laughs> Food dried up. My wife literally thought she was losing her husband. She's already began the plan of what she's going to do with the kids, go to her parents' house. She didn't know what to do because everything was crashing really fast. Well, you need to get saved. I was saved. I already had an Old Testament degree. We've already been in church for years. I'm just telling you, folks, you've got to learn how this works. And so I got desperate, and life was horrible. I mean, it was, it was really bad. And one night it, I was going to my church on Wednesday night, and I had a panic attack going to church, and I thought, should I go home? or just I was halfway, should I go home or go to church? And I thought, there was nothing at home. I, I need God. So I went on to church. I could care less what phase of the service they were in. I was desperate. And so they were going on through. So I just, I made my way to the front. Everyone stopped, looked at me. Security people came, you know, who's this guy? Everyone's kind of reacting. This guy coming up out of order. You know, you can tell something's wrong with him. Yeah, there's something wrong with me. All right. And one of the staff who I knew went over to the pastor. I, I knew the pastor, but I had, he didn't know about the situation. The staff member told the pastor about my situation. And you see the pastor relax, you know. Oh, okay. He walks over and says, in the name of Jesus, I bind this spirit. When he said that, I fell backwards on the floor and began to moan loudly. I couldn't stop. I was embarrassed, but I couldn't stop it. I was like just moaning out loud. And then after maybe a couple minutes of that, I suddenly was free. Just normal. And I was so excited. I was free. We went to Pizza Hut to celebrate that night, and at the Pizza Hut, as I was sitting here at the table, all of a sudden, that yucky blanket of fear came back. I felt it go, whoo. I mean, I, I just remember, I remember exactly, just whoo, right there it was. Now, understand, I was immature. You say, well, I thought you had an Old Testament degree. You were in churches that taught about demons. Yes, but I had never been taught. A lot of the churches teach people they need their pastor, they need the elders, you know, get hands laid on them. Those are immature churches. Yes, you can go to the elder. You can go to the pastor. But the Bible says in Ephesians chapter 4 that our job as leaders in the church is to raise you up to be mature for works of service. And you can't do works of service against the kingdom of darkness till you're mature. And I hadn't been taught that. So I was in the same situation. I didn't know it was the spirit. I thought it was, okay, maybe something's just wrong with my body. The doctors had names for it. But as I meditated on that, a few days later, I thought, now, wait a minute. It reacted to spiritual authority. Maybe it is a spirit and not a disease. I don't know. 
A week, or, a week later, I, I decided I was going to sit here and pray in the Spirit. And I was praying a lot. But I decided, I'm going to pray in the Spirit. I must have prayed a long time. I got I to I hear God. And I was praying in the Spirit for a long time. And all of a sudden, it lifted again into my prayer time. And then, wait a minute, it is reacting to the spirit of, it's, it, it, it must be a spirit. You think, oh, so now you know it's a spirit, so it's, it's solved. No, let me tell you something. Most believers think this is how Satan operates. If you just whisper the name of Jesus, he goes, ar, 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 ar. <laughs> I'm telling you, that is not how he functions. Yes, you have authority. But sometimes you got to kick him out. I didn't know that. And because when I said the name of Jesus, nothing happened, I figured, well, this must not be a spirit. Nothing's happening. But yet I had this conflicting information. It seemed to react to spiritual authority, but I didn't know it was a spirit. I mean, maybe it's a disease. I don't know. God will heal me. I, I was just, I was torment, confusion. Until the day I was in my office. Now, if I began to study who I was in Christ. You say, well, why are you so, I didn't know who I was in Christ. I didn't know who I was in Christ. Listen to me, believers, you need to know who you are in Christ. You need to understand your position in Christ. I didn't know that. And so I began to read books, and one of the books God led me to was by Norval Hayes, I think it's out of print, called Know Your, know Your Enemy. In the book, Norval talks about casting demons out. Now, he just, you know, he's ministering to people and casting demons out, and what it did for me was, wait a minute, if it works for Norval, that same scripture will work for me. I read that book 30 or 40 times. I read it once a day because I was so weak and having no effect in this battle that I had to keep rehearsing. Wait a minute, it does work. It, it, they responded to Norville. I had the same authority in Norville. I had to keep, I know it sounds kind of silly, but listen, I was in a battle for my life. I had to be encouraged daily that I had authority. More from Gary Cassie in a moment. When you're sick, it costs you money, robs you of the life you want to live, and keeps you from finding your destiny. Today, Pastor Gary Cassie is pleased to offer you God's Health Care Plan, resources designed to help you live whole the way God intended. Healing is a promise from God. In multiple scriptures, it says Jesus restored all to health. Your Bible also tells us that God isn't a respecter of persons. What He promises or did for one, He promises and does for all. In this 10-part, six-CD series, Gary expounds on the fact that Jesus already paid for our healing on the cross. What we lack is active faith. God wants you to live whole. Live whole. God's health care plan proves through scriptures that God's healing is for everyone, and that includes you. Remember, Jesus already paid the price for your healing. Start living whole, employing God's health care plan today. Call 888-391-LIFE, write, or visit GaryCasee.com to get started. Your health is more than just important to your finances. It's vital to your destiny. Also, from Fixing the Money Thing, to encourage you to live whole every day, we want to send you 10 healing scripture cards, each with a vital verse about healing. Take the scripture cards with you in the convenient carrying case as a reminder of God's health care plan. Live Whole, God's Health Care Plan, and the 10 Healing Scripture Cards are yours today for only $35 or more in support of Faith Life Ministries. Call 888-391-LIFE, 888-391-5433. Write Faith Life Now, P.O. Box 779, New Albany, Ohio, 43054. Or log on to GaryCasee.com to order God's Health Care Plan for yourself. Gary Cassie wants you to see the evidence from God's Word that proves you can live a life free from health care concerns. Call, write, or go online and get God's health care plan. To invite Gary to speak at your church or event, go to GaryCassie.com. Now, with more on God's health care plan for you, Gary Cassie. So, in the office this day, I felt that familiar panic attack feeling, that same blanket of fear coming over me. And uh, I've been praying, you know, in the spirit, and God spoke to me. He said, you need to stand up right now and with a loud voice and with boldness, command that thing to stop. And then he added a phrase which changed my life. He said, and don't pay attention to how you feel. Now that changed it. Now, I had secretaries in the office, so I went to the restroom. 
And I went in there and I said, okay, it's, you know, I figure it's me and him. I said, in the name of Jesus, this is illegal. I bind you. I resist you in his name. I command you to leave now. I am free. And I remember what God said to me. He said, pay, because nothing happened. You listen to me, nothing happened. No change, no feelings, no anointing, nothing. You hear what I'm saying? Nothing. And God said, pay no attention to how you feel. So I went back to my desk and said, Father, I thank you that I'm free. You said, pay no attention to how I feel. Thank you that I'm free. And I sat there and I'd say, thank you for I'm free. I thank you that I'm free of this thing. And I just thank you that I'm free. And maybe three or five minutes went by and all of a sudden the anointing came in that room. I felt the anointing on me. And then, amazingly, I saw out of the corner of my eye a black, wispy thing leave and go right up through the roof. And I was free. Now listen, there's one thing to be set free, and there's one thing to know how you got free. I had been set free before, but this time I knew how to be free. Because I knew if it came back, I knew what to do about it. And I was so excited. I called Drenda and said, Drenda, I heard from God. I'm free. I feel normal. I have joy. I have peace. No more voices. I said, we've got to celebrate. We've got to go to Chinese, man. Chinese is the anointed restaurant. <laughs> got to have Chinese food. <laughs> so, so we went to the Chinese restaurant. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Where are we going today? I don't know. Anyway, Chinese restaurant. And uh, you said, well, did it come back? Oh, yes, it came back that day. What did you do? I did the same thing and left again. Well, how many times? Oh, it probably came back eight or nine times that day. You are kidding me. Oh, yeah, it's like a dog. You got to kick it and then kick it. See, he is persistent. When he tempted Jesus in the wilderness, three temptations, if you find the last one, it says Satan left waiting for a more opportune time. He is diligently your enemy. He has assigned demons to watch you, to learn your weaknesses. He is even as I speak here, scheming to stop you. Do not let that cause fear in your heart. For you've been given the victory through Jesus Christ. You do not have to be concerned with him. You just need to be hooked up with God. You need to follow the Holy Spirit, be led in life by God's Spirit. You don't know, no fear. There's no fear in God. But I was free. Changed my life. But I tell all of y'all all that to say this. I'm talking today about not stepping into the legal jurisdiction of Satan. 1 John 5, 18 says this, we know that whoever is born of God sinneth not. This is the King James Version. But he that is begotten of God keepeth himself, and that wicked one touches him not. You can't play outside of God's dominion and expect to stay in his protection. Now you're going to heaven. The enemy is fighting to de desensitize people of his existence or that he's cuddly and warm. In my generation, we had Casper the friendly ghost, Samantha the friendly witch. In this generation, we have all kinds of, they have Twilight series. Now, now it's about uh, having love with demons or vampires. Or, and the world embraces, why, why is Disney so absorbed with magic? Why is all cussing against God? Why is God damn it a cuss word? Why don't we say Satan damn it or damn Satan? Have you ever thought about how the enemy is infiltrating culture to make you desensitized? White magic is good magic. The Wizard of Oz, Glinda is the, the nice witch. Listen, if the power's not from God, it's from Satan. You need to understand that. You say, are, are you saying never to watch Disney? I'm not saying that. You have to make that decision yourself. But what I am saying is, if you train your kids that magic is an answer, that it's real, and they don't understand the real power in life, who God is, they're going to embrace all kinds of things that are dangerous for them. That are dangerous for them. Insurance policies called destruction, acts of God. 
Satan wants you to think he's harmless and there's nothing bad in him and he wants you to be lured. He offers so much, like Treasure Island in Pinocchio. It's so much there. Listen, I'm telling you, he's your enemy. He wants to devour you. He wants to deceive you. He wants to tempt you. He's got to get you outside of the jurisdiction of a loving God who cares about you and sent Jesus for you. He wants to lure you into a place that you can't get out of. Try it one time. You can stop anytime. You're in control. You're not in control. He wants to ensnare you, emotionally trap you, and end up killing you. He is against you. And you must be wise to his tactics. The Bible says we are not ignorant of his schemes. He does not come out openly, knock on the door, and say, hey, I'm the devil. I'm here to kill, steal, and destroy your family. He doesn't do that. He sends friends in the back door that you know nothing about. They're telling your kids things you don't know they're telling them. He whispers at work through uh, employees about some other woman and, you know, telling you about things you shouldn't be putting up with with your wife or your husband. And there's a better way. It's called adultery. And he's going to infiltrate with thoughts and ideas and concepts that you're going to try, you try to get you to embrace, which are destruction. For to man there is a way that seems right, but in the end there's destruction. And you have been given the Holy Spirit to be your umpire in life. He judges between the thoughts and the intents of the heart. He wants to protect you. He wants to lead you and help you stay out of that trap. But the world has no fear of sin. The body of Christ has no fear of sin. I've been in arguments myself with the young people in our church. No, this Twilight series is great. I love it. It's fantastic. You know, I love all this stuff, wizards and all these things. Listen, you don't know what authored all that. You don't understand. You're young. You don't understand what's behind it. you got to understand. We have to help people understand. That five-minute segment in that movie you love, the one you go, oh, there's this one part. There's this one part in the, in the movie, you know, you, we'll just we'll fast-forward it. Don't you understand that's there for a reason? That it wasn't put there by accident? That behind it is a scheming plot to infiltrate your thoughts and cause a callous in your heart? That the next time you see it, you don't object to it, you don't revolt against it, you begin to live with it, and pretty soon you begin to live in it. Do you understand that? That the government, the, the devil's more concerned about government than you are. He understands if he can infiltrate the governments of nations, he can change the course of a nation. But Christians said, oh, I'm out of politics. I'm out of business. We're in the church. He doesn't care if there's a million people in this building. What he doesn't want is a million people in this building out there in politics and in the world, in the media. He doesn't care about that. He wants to make sure you do not inflict righteous influence in the world. That's why he doesn't want you to prosper. When you're sick, it costs you money, robs you of the life you want to live, and keeps you from finding your destiny. Today, Pastor Gary Cassie is pleased to offer you God's Health Care Plan, resources designed to help you live whole the way God intended. Healing is a promise from God. In multiple scriptures, it says Jesus restored all to health. Your Bible also tells us that God isn't a respecter of persons. What He promises or did for one, He promises and does for all. In this 10-part, 6-CD series, Gary expounds on the fact that Jesus already paid for our healing on the cross. What we lack is active faith. God wants you to live whole. Live whole. God's health care plan proves through scriptures that God's healing is for everyone, and that includes you. Remember, Jesus already paid the price for your healing. Start living whole, employing God's health care plan today. Call 888-391-LIFE. Write or visit GaryCasee.com to get started. Your health is more than just important to your finances. It's vital to your destiny. Also, from fixing the money thing to encourage you to live whole every day, we want to send you 10 healing scripture cards, each with a vital verse about healing. Take the scripture cards with you in the convenient carrying case as a reminder of God's health care plan. Live Whole, God's Health Care Plan, and the 10 Healing Scripture Cards are yours today for only $35 or more in support of Faith Life Ministries. Call 888-391-LIFE, 888-391-5433. Write Faith Life Now, P.O. Box 779, New Albany, Ohio, 43054. Or log on to GaryCasee.com to order God's Health Care Plan for yourself. Gary Cassie wants you to see the evidence from God's Word that proves you can live a life free from health care concerns. Call, write, or go online and get God's health care plan. 
Follow us on Facebook and Twitter. Go to GaryCasey.com for more information. Now, with more on God's health care plan for you, Gary and Drenda Casey. I encourage you to get Live Whole, God's health care plan. We have seen so many people healed. After Gary gave this uh, teaching and shared this teaching, it was amazing. The miracles, the healings that we experienced. And if you're struggling today in your health, God wants you to live whole and he has a healing plan for you. And it's better than the government health care system. That's right, Trenda. Jesus paid for it. We, we need to enjoy it. And I want you to get it. Go to GaryCasey.com. If you need prayer, you'd like to talk to someone, call the number at the bottom of the screen. But we're here for you. We're here for you. The reason we're here every day, every week is because we want to help you fix the money thing, live life to your complete uh, destiny God has for you. But healing is something you're going to have to apply to your life. You're going to have to know how to walk this out with wisdom and with understanding concerning God's word. And so this is a 10 CD set. It's, I think I've listened to it again myself over and over. Fantastic, fantastic revelation of the kingdom. As you said, many people hearing it yes. applied it. And we, in our church, we had so many people healed and across the country as we send this out, just story after story of people receiving their healing that Jesus paid for. That's right. We want to pray with you today. If you'd like prayer for anything in your life, please go uh, to the number that's on your screen. Give us a call yeah. or you can go to GaryCasey.com for more resources, information that will minister life to you and healing and health to you. Amen. We'll see you next time on Fixing the Money Thing. Fixing the Money Thing is brought to you by the Ford Financial Group and Lindsay Honda and Acura of Columbus. When you need God's help, prayer is always the answer. Pastor Gary understands and wants to help. That's why he has caring friends standing by, ready to pray with you. No matter what you're facing, there is hope. Call and let's agree together. Caring prayer partners are available faithfully Monday through Friday from 9 to 630. You can also leave your prayer request at GaryCasey.com. Just click and know someone will be agreeing with you in prayer for your need to be met. Call or log on today. Join Pastor Gary Cassie in your area and experience firsthand how following kingdom principles can help you achieve your destiny. Come see Pastor Gary and see what God has in store for you. For more information, visit GaryCasie.com. Friday at 5.30 p.m. for Drenda. Connect with special guests, discover life-changing topics, and learn to live life out loud. It's more than just television. It's Drenda. Come experience Faith Life Church for yourself and become part of a close-knit gathering of people who want something more, more impact, more purpose, more of God, more of life. Located on the east side of Columbus, just 10 minutes from Easton, off of 161, Faith Life Church meets in the Now Center, which services Saturdays at 6 p.m. and Sundays at 9.30 and 11.30 a.m. Come experience the good life at Faith Life Church. Contact Gary. Archived Fixing the Money Thing shows, learning resources, and more at GaryCasey.com. Fixing the Money Thing is part of the worldwide outreach of Faith Life Now.